Good morning, boys and girls. It's great to be with you again this morning. I'm really looking forward to seeing you all very soon, and hopefully I might get a chance to see one or two of you at church on Easter Sunday, so that's something for me to look forward to. So boys and girls, who would be with you throughout your day? Mums and dads are with you when you're at home. Teachers and classroom assistants when you're at school. Campaigners, leaders at campaigners. Your church family when you're at church. And your friends might even be with you when you're outside playing or at the park. But there's someone else. There's someone else who would be with you at all times, no matter where you are. And that is God. God is with you all the time. God is with me right now. You might not be able to see him, but God is with me. Last week, Julia told you about how God helped Joshua to be strong and brave to lead the Israelites. And this morning I'm going to tell you how God had a plan and was with his people always. So listen carefully to the story. So as God had planned, he led his people to the new home he had promised them. Joshua, the leader, told some spies to go and check out the big city of Jericho. The spies had to cross the wide river Jordan and sneaked into Jericho through the large city gates. Now, how do you think the spies would have felt sneaking in through the city gates. I think they might have been a wee bit scared. The spies went to a woman called Rahab, who lived in a house built in the city wall itself. But soon the king of Jericho had heard that the spies were there and he sent some soldiers out to go and get them. So Rahab told the spies to climb up onto her roof and it was a flat roof, it wasn't like a sloped roof that we have today. So Rahab told them to go up onto her roof and hide under some of her plants. Now imagine how the spies were feeling. They must have been terrified. Now because Rahab hid the spies from the soldiers, she got them to promise to keep her and her family safe. So the spies agreed and asked Rahab to tie a red rope to her window in the city wall so that they could remember where she lived. When the spies thought it was safe for them to leave, they climbed out a window at Rahab's house, slid down a rope, and were able to escape the Jericho soldiers. They had to hide in the hills until they knew it was completely safe before they went back to their leader. And they went, when they went back to Joshua, they told Joshua all about the city of Jericho and all about Rahab. So boys and girls, when was God with his people? When was he with the spies? So they had to cross the river. If we go back to the beginning of the story, the spies had to cross the big Jordan River. So God was with them when they crossed the river and kept them safe. The spies sneaked into the city and God was with them and made sure that nobody saw them as they sneaked in. God led them to the woman called Rahab. God was with them when they were hiding from the soldiers, keeping them safe from the soldiers. He was with them when they were climbing down the rope to try and escape, that nobody saw them. God was with them when they hid in the hills. And then God was with them when they returned safely to Joshua. So God was with his people all the time. And it's the same for you and me. God is with us all the time. Just think how amazing it is to know that you're never alone. God is with you at home, school, the shops, even when you're feeling sad or happy. And God is always there and you can always talk to him. So I have a wee prayer rhyme here that we'll say together or I'll say for you, boys and girls. So let's pray. Thank you, God, that you're with me, even though I cannot see. I know you're there by my side whenever I cannot decide how to act or what to do. I can always talk to you. Amen.
boys and girls, I have a wee craft for you. We're going to make a, um, a book. If you have any coloured card or any plain paper for the computer, it doesn't really matter. So you need, you need some paper or coloured card, a hole puncher, but if you don't have a hole puncher at home, I'm sure mums and dads could poke whatever the holes you need with a sharp pencil and a pair of scissors. So with your paper or your card, if you cut it in half, or if you fold it in half, and then cut along the line so that you have strips of paper this size. And you can use any colour you want. Now, I'm going to take two different colours and put them together. You can take as many colours as you want, or you can put as many as you want. Fold it in half. And when it's folded in half, pop it into the hole puncher. It's not too thick. And punch the hole. Okay? And then we're going to tie our book together with either string or ribbon. Now I have got one here and I have I quite like pink, so I am going to do mine in pink. So pop the ribbon through the holes. If it goes through. I need something just to poke it in. And then poke the pop it into the other side. This was easier when I practiced it. Okay. And tie it whatever way you want. You can tie it in a knot or tie it in a bow. But I'm going to do mine in a bow. It's maybe not a very neat bow. I can try and neaten it up a bit. Okay, and then cut your extra ribbon. Now on the front of my book, I have already written, God is always with me. So I now have a book with different colours of pages and you can decorate it any way you want. And inside your book, you can draw pictures of you being in school at the park or at the shops or with your mum and dad. And it's just wee pictures to remind you when God is with you, God is with you at all times and you can decorate it with different colours or stickers or gems if you want to stick in the inside of it. Or you could even write out a wee Bible verse and put a Bible verse into it. Or on the website, boys and girls, there are these two pages and hopefully these are on the website. Now this, eventually, when you have it made, makes it into a nice wee book and that reminds that is the story that I have just told you. So, and that's something small enough that you can carry in your school bag. Or here's another wee sheet that you have that hopefully is on the website that you could draw pictures of you at school, church, home, club, when you've hurt yourself, when you need a hug, on your birthday, when you're playing, or when you're at the shops. And again, those wee things just remind you when you're with God. So speak to you soon.